guys, it's Tiny Tay, and I'm back today with some mm, end of summer shenanigans, I guess we could say. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, this is my fall wish list. Um, this is going to be a mixture between luxury items and not luxury items, but I really don't like to say that word, I guess, connotation out there because then people like associate it with what is considered, I guess majorly luxury or like mainstream luxury I don't know all I have to say is luxury can be different between me and you and the next person it's all about what you value and what you consider to be luxury because I'm sure there are people out there who don't consider things that I have or things that are on this list or things that I want to be considered luxury so this is my version of my fall wish list um, that has a lot of different things on it because I am a girl who wants a lot of all over the place things I have managed to get things off of my wish list before. Um, I have like ongoing wish lists and then I have ones that I do like kind of for every season because different things come up. And as I grow, I really feel like some things suit me more now than they did ever. And I'll kind of talk about that on some of these items. So if you are interested, I post videos that are all over the place coffee, fashion, lifestyle. Please hit that subscribe button and remember to like and comment. I would love to have you join our family. And if you're returning, hi, welcome back. I've missed you. Thank you for tuning in yet again. Let's get into it because I have a lot of things on this list. The first thing is going to be an item that carried over from my Christmas list last year into this list. And honestly, I've had multiple opportunities this year to get it. But for some reason, I just I keep holding off. And I'm a very patient jit and kind of save up or sometimes my friends have items that they're like over with and I'm like I'll buy that off of you like you know it just works out that's how life is for me I'm not necessarily a person who's always going to go to the store and buy new items every time I do I have been on a little Mercari I think that's how you say it kick lately um, and I've been selling things on there which I will link down below if you're interested in buying some of my clothes um, and help funding this wish list essentially and I've been doing that for a while and honestly it's not going bad like I have not gotten a bad review yet I've only sold a few things but this first item as most of you who know me in real life probably guess because I've wanted this for a really long time is a Gucci belt not just any, it's the GG Thin Belt in the blue color. I'll put pictures here of everything that I want. I adore this color. It's my favorite color. This year, one of my goals, I will not say resolutions, but goals this year is to absolutely live in my aesthetic. My aesthetic is very, like, one, I'll say it's all over the place. But for the most part, I really love, like, a crisp, like, not neutral, but just, like, a reoccurrent crisp theme, like... Uh, you'd have to just see my Pinterest. It's really hard to explain. But anyway, my favorite color is teal, turquoise, um, a lot of mint I've been getting into lately. Um, so one of my themes this year was just to live in that aesthetic. Something that I see on TikTok all the time is like the pink girlies. Um, and I love that for them. My mommy's a pink girly. Like, I love it. I see it. I grew up with it. But really being a blue girl is harder than it seems because before this year... The teals and the blues and the shades of blue that I like, blues are my favorite color since probably like fourth grade, have been far and wide. But this year it's incredibly popular. There are brands who have been going hard on the blue and I love it. North Face is one of those brands. Um, but another item in this list you'll see is another brand that normally does not do this color, but they've been kind of stepping into their like colorful vibe. So that's on my list. I do have other belts, obviously, and I think belts are a great way to spice up your fashion, your outfit. I just wanted one. Also, if you remember during COVID when everyone was wearing like the pillow, they were putting pillows on wearing mesh dresses with belts. Like that's really when I fell into my belt era. Like. I was wearing, I know everyone's like, obviously we all wear belts every day, but like, well not every day, but you know, but like I was actively incorporating belts into my wardrobe, and I still do, because like I said, I think they're a great way to spice it up, but I know if I had a Gucci belt, a Gucci belt, I would wear it a lot, and plus I want it, so like, treat myself. Um, that beeping is my pizza, so I'll be right back. So the next thing on the list is a Dagny Dover bag. I've been obsessed with them for like six months now so not very long um but you've known me you know I love bags I don't ever I don't think there's ever been a point where I haven't had a bag that couldn't fit 
everything or enough or like I just have so many I have so many little trinket bags but I use them all and that's the thing like I make use of them like I have a, like when I travel I have an electronics bag like I have a bag with like the snacks I have a bag with like my medication stuff like I have bags for my bags okay so of course once I discovered this plus being about to be a nurse soon I need a nurse backpack or you know just like a work backpack something that can be easily washed and disinfected but still hold like my stethoscope like anything else that we need keeping up with all of those things and just like carrying my lunch I don't want to be carrying three different bags although I have I don't want to do that into the hospital because germs and along with that like there are things that I need chronic illness wise that I need to have that can fit with me and be with me at all times literally even at work um, so I have to have a bag that has enough space for those things at work I'm leaning most towards the backpack since I do have fanny packs I do have other carry-ons similar to the Landon backpack that I don't necessarily need right now but I would really like to try out the backpack for clinicals especially because you can only bring such a small amount with you well, sometimes we have to walk like our hospital is huge so I don't want to be carrying things in my hands. I want to wear my gloves. It's freezing here. Like, no. I also need something with a big enough opening that I can get into without having to take my gloves off because I will not be a victim of frostbite. So, that's the next thing on my list. After that, we have shoes. I have a bunch of shoes on my wish list this fall, which I will probably get because shoes are pretty easy, especially because I have smaller feet. Um, and my parents have already gotten me three of the, <laughs> like, six boots that I want. So, you know, that's already half the list knocked out. So the first pair of shoes that I want this fall is this classic maxi short Ugg. It's an interesting design, but I love it. I've always been a fan of Uggs. I know that people think Uggs aren't real snow boots, but I have the real snow boot version of the Uggs. I love them, and they hold up, but sometimes I just want to slip on my Ugg booty and go. And especially because booty season is such a short season here, like, you got two months, if that. Probably, like, five weeks to wear your booties before the snow is at your calf, if not your knee. Have my booty moment, you know? And these are so cute, plus match one of the wonder coats I've gotten already. And they're just such a, like, intricate design. It's kind of giving, like, what OG Yeezy design wanted to give. Like, with his moon boots, like, that industrial kind of vibe that he still dresses, like, now. It kind of gives that, but in a cutesy, girly way. And a very neutral colorway, which Yeezy did have a lot of neutral colorways. Um, but... A lot less expensive and super cute and ugh and that I'll be able to wear during our booty season. The next is this funk et. Love it. These have been everywhere. Not necessarily this version, um, but you know, similar versions. The Birkenstock one is super in and going all over TikTok right now. Um, but I love the back strap. I have the sandal version of these ones, I think called Fluffia, and I love them. I wear them a lot. They're super cute for slip-ons, and this could be an inside outdoor shoe for me. So like running out to the trash, but also like I don't obviously with the snow where like my winter boots or anything like that like those stay at the door um but these can just be a quick wipe down and go about my way plus they remind me of the classic ugg slipper that everybody used to wear like in middle school that they used to wear literally to school and it was just like basically this slipper without the platform and without the back strap like the most basic ugg slipper that you can get this one is the fluffy yeah version of that same shoe um i'll probably decide between these two or maybe i'll get both i don't know but the fluffy yeah version kind of worries me because the snow and the winter and like the salt eating away at the fur on the top of the shoe but i love it and i think it's a lot cuter than the birkenstock one that everyone's getting i've never had issues with uggs and people are always like they don't keep my feet cold da, da, da. well i've literally never had that problem and i have like 14 pairs of Ugg. I'm not everybody's. Next thing is these Sport Yeah clogs. I also have the Croc version of these on my list, but I'll put them side by side because they're super similar. But unfortunately, in my size, the Croc version doesn't have the color I want. I wanted the color Bone, which they also don't have in my size in adults because if you know, a kid's three is a woman's five. But they had a four option, which would have fit. But of course, those are sold out because the small sizes always sell out fast. I'm not even shocked. But everyone was wearing these at Disneyland, and I wanted a pair bad. Like, if I would have found them right there, I would have got them. Like, I wanted these. I'm not much into the platform trend. 
I'd say that's coming back, but these I would get. Like, I love them. I will get them. And this also could be on my spring list, so maybe I won't get these until, like, March of next year. Plus, being on the lake, like, this year I lost my hat on the lake. I almost lost my shoe on the lake. Like, I love my chacos a lot, and I just almost don't want to wear them on the lake anymore. Some peace to my hat. It was so cute. Actually, it's, a, it's at the bottom of one of our 10,000 lakes now, so... So the next thing I want is a big puffer vest. I have puffer vests um, already, but I want like a big one. Not the big cropped one, but I want one that's like literally down to my knees. Like I want a long, big puffer vest. Um, I have quite a few different options here. I'll put the prices here. I am not necessarily dead set on any of these yet, so I'm going to keep looking. I am loving that brown camel brown leather color right now that everybody's doing um, as you can see in some of these options I do love that right now but again I'm not dead set on that so I'm gonna keep looking maybe we could do a little Nords vlog <laughs> I actually hate when people call Nordstrom Nords but I just felt like it was very fitting at this moment um, and see if they have any like vests there that I'm looking for but I have seen a lot of Pinterest inspiration with this and like I said, during our like five weeks booty weather, that's like the perfect weather for your vest because after that, you can't. Like the wind, the cold, the snow, you just can't. You cannot wear them after that point. Or you wear your vest under your coat if you're leaving your coat like going to, you know, dinner or a friend's house and you know that your coat and vests can be separate portions of the outfits. So we're getting to the end of the list now, and one thing that I will definitely get at the end of this season, despite not being able to wear it outside at this point, is the Skims dress that has been all over the place. I don't know if I want with the sleeves or sleeveless. With the sleeves, I definitely could get away with wearing during the fall here. Sleeveless is just so, like... Magnifique though, but also I've been on my gym grind So we'll see where that goes and then probably like towards the end of November We'll decide on one of these because then I'll have it for full next year and be able to wear it all throughout the warmth and the fall Okay, so the next bag that I want is the coach Molly bucket bag um, I want the brown one with the red. I love that one. That's one that's going to be in this picture. Um, it reminds me so much of the Noe Noe, which I love, but something that I'm wanting enough to go to that extent with it. I love the design of the bag. Plus, I already do have a Petite Noe, which if you haven't already, check out that video, um, which I love and is vintage and has been holding up amazingly. The bag is older than me and... It's, it's near and dear to my heart. So I don't necessarily want something that's going to replace that bag, but I want another option to like grab and go. I love the big slit in the middle. Um, I also love that it's two separate compartments because as a large tote bag girl, y'all know. Y'all know when you're digging around in the tote bag and you know what's in there, but you're freaking, you're disheveled. You're shuffling. You're looking for hours just for your chapstick. Like... Don't get me wrong, I, lo I love it. It's a part of my life. It's just regular now. But it is really nice to have those two separate compartments, um, especially just to have like a quick, quick grab and go. i become a card holder girl these days and not necessarily like a lanyard girl. So sometimes looking for your card holder in that bag. Like I was in TJ Maxx a few days ago and I thought I left my cards at home, but really it was just at the bottom of my bag. So sometimes having those two compartments can be really nice. Um, plus for the price point of under $200, it's a Coach. I love Coach. I love their rebrand. Um, I've always loved them. So it's like, it's not something that I wouldn't get. Versus in a way, no way, I would not get. That's why that's on my wish list. Plus it's a very safe bag to carry. Um, you know, you've got the two different strap options. It's not humongous. Like... You can take that to a dinner and just like you know you're not your arm's not gonna be tired like it's just a, a safe bag like it's not like example the never full your shoulder hurts like that's not a safe bag to carry for a long day this is a safe bag to carry for a long day and that is my fall wish list thank you for watching if you want to see maybe an updated version of this in the fall and what I did and did not get of course I would do that 
Um, but thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any of these items and you want to let me know about them, please do. Or if there's anything that I'm like missing or for any reason that I wouldn't love them, please let me know um, below. But yeah, that was my fall wish list. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later.